In today's video, I'm going to be talking about networking and sub for sub and the downfall of this community. This will be my last video, pretty much summarizing my whole time on YouTube, how networking started, the sub for sub history, and the eventual downfall of it as well. So basically, networking is just a fancier way of saying sub for sub. There was like a networking community back in the day. Um, I'm going to put some of the channels up here, of course. Um, but networking is basically the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. So basically, this is just a fancier way of people doing sub for sub. Like, hey, I'll go and check out your channel, do, you know, show support to your stuff if you go back and do it, you know, the the basically do the same thing to me right and it was supposed to be a better form of sub for sub but in the end it's just the same and if you're really not interested in that person's business uh or what content they're creating then it really does that channel no good at all uh basically sub for sub is just as simple as it is you go to a channel or there used to be live streams and you would subscribe to a person and then they in return would subscribe right back to you and basically, you gain your subs up. Of course, everybody knows you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. And this would be a kind of quick way to do that. Um, it's not really good for your channel, though, because you're gaining subscribers. But at the same time, you're not really gaining any views on your videos. The first guy I'm going to talk about is Think Dragon, and he basically would do a thing called like run your playlist and like you just go and just run people's videos and give them watch hours and like to get your channel shouted out basically where everybody would go and subscribe to you would have to like donate and basically whoever had like the biggest donation would get like the shout out of the day and it's really not good because people are just doing it just because they want it done to them and then after that's done your channel is still dead you don't have any real viewers you don't have any real subscribers and at the end of the day it's just not healthy for your channel overall now a big portion of this um community started with this guy named tree trimmer 82 uh there's also a lot of people i'm not going to put them on the video but pusa studios um blood x linda house of chill full in with fluffy p nasty 235 just living so on and so forth if you guys want to look them up you can and basically this guy has over 456 live streams where he would go on here beg for donations and he used to also say like oh my wife is sick she has this she has diet baby she needs money for her hospital and basically she he, he would get money right and then like basically act crazy in these videos and a lot of them he's deleted but there's still 456 that are public and people would flood in the chat saying subscribe to me do this do that and it's just like a way to get quick subscribers which i get why he's doing it and he's making money but at the same time it's just it eventually just fell off because people kind of opened up to the idea like, hey, I'm not really gaining anything from doing this. K fam's in the house. Bam, bam, bam. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We got a bunch of love and loyalty in the house. We got Garns Lawn Care in the house. Gato Vlog saying hello to all. God bless this Sunday. Hell yeah. J-Dub's in the house. As you can see, this would be the majority of networking streams or sub for sub streams um especially once youtube started cracking down on sub for sub they came became more uh creative with it and called it networking all, all he would do is just read the chat um say let's grow let's grow to away from a personal goal and you would just have people spamming that in chat um you would go to a channel subscribe to it say hey hit me back or make up a fake video comment and just keep it pushing and i mean it, it's really like i'm not hating on them because it's a smart business but at the end of the day it's just temporary money and temporary views temporary subscribers and it doesn't really help your channel and that's kind of the reason why uh i fell off and you know a lot of other people fell off too because if we would have been focusing on our content and other things we could have been better off now versus just looking at the temporary gain that we were having then let's go and let's grow if you ain't smack the like button go ahead and smack it for me now founded buried said rupster 760 <clears throat> Guys, Rubster760 has been a friend of mine for a good while on YouTube. That guy's an amazing person. We got a lot in common. Com common. We play in AP. 
Now, there's also other streamers, and I'm going to do a quick little show of those who did this stuff. Um, but as always, if you're doing something like this and it doesn't work and it's not good, there's always going to be backlash. And there were many exposed videos calling this stuff out, which also kind of led to the end of networking and sub for sub, especially this big community uh, that we had, um, mainly a channel called Red Fox Channel. Um, made an exposed video and then other people kind of hopped on it and a lot of internal drama kind of ended it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of portion uh, of it and a lot of trolling also. Like there are a ton of kids in there. Uh, and if they don't have money and not getting shouted out, they're going to come in and dislike and troll. Um, so yeah. Right, lads, lads, lads. I think Tree Trim has finally quit. Tree Trim has actually finished doing his so-called shout-out videos on YouTube. When you're recording, please do not spit some, like, ball of, I don't know, melted rigging filth into a bloody Dr. Pepper bottle, like, six times when you're trying to record a video. Honestly, it's just disgusting. Um, don't, you know, the, the real reason why all this is going on and he actually came into my stream under a false account and said, Tree Trimmer, will you uh, let him unblock me? And I said, Stefan, we'll give you another chance if you take the videos down you made about me. Because I believe in second chances, man. Well, clearly you don't believe in second chances because Stefan took the videos down and you didn't let him back in. And so did the home of Nintendo, whose name is now Waffles. He took the videos down and you still didn't let him in. So that is kind of being a scammer. So you are a scammer. Now, another big sub for sub person or networking person back in the day was Linda's House of Chill. She recently did change her name. I'll try to find a uh, photo of her new channel name. And she and a guy named Ralph's Trucking uh, used to do these grow streams. Um, but she was hit hard by trolls. And she ended up stopped doing them because she kind of saw like, hey, my channel is not gaining anything from this. I'm only gaining money money from this when I'm kind of scamming people. Um, but she was a big portion of the networking uh, community at the time. And uh, I'll just let you guys hear what she had to say about networking. A bit more of a serious video here. I am letting you all know that I am not doing networking or growth streams anymore. I do not want to hear let's go, let's grow. That is just cringy to me. I can't stand it anymore. After doing it for about seven months, um, I evaluated the situation and some people network. Very few network. Most people sub for sub. That's it. They comment on your video, so you will go comment on their video and hit their red button and then you never see them again. I know everybody wants to get their 1K. I know everybody wants to get their 4K hours. I know everybody wants to get monetized. If your mindset on YouTube is just to do it to make money, you're never going to get anywhere. I know you see some streamers, me included at one time, bringing in a lot of money, but that money will dry up, the people will move on to different streams, and then you're just stuck. YouTube thinks that you're a live streamer, so they're not going to push any of your uploads. And so you're going to have to sit back and rebrand yourself and wait for YouTube's algorithm to catch you up as something else than a live streamer. So I see why you guys, going live is the best way to get your hours. But why are you on this platform? Are you on here just to make money, just to go live? Just to give people incentives to give you $100 so you can be put on an MVP list so you can get a bunch of dead subscribers, then go right ahead. But that is not my intention. I came on here. Uh, Linda House of Chill did a great job in this video. Um, she called out her mistakes, which was basically participating in this kind of activity. Um, however, you know, at the end of the day, um, there, like there's an old guy I know too, Dankly. He he did suffer sub, and he's a, like a decent YouTuber now. Um, but like what she said is like it's not worth it. Like yeah, she made money, 
But YouTube, if you're just doing YouTube, like YouTube for money, you're not going to last. Only people who actually enjoy their job, because YouTube is a job, right? Um, especially once you're, you're making money off of it and good money, not just any, you know, $50, $100. Once you're making decent money off of it, um, it is a job, but you have to enjoy it. And you doing temporary sub for sub, it, it just messed up the community. It made YouTube, especially for you, small YouTubers, hard now because everybody wants to comment on my video. I'll comment on yours. Um, and it, it's all about that mentality versus people just watching your videos like Mr. Beast, for example, because I like Mr. Beast. Um, so she did a great job in explaining that. But also, like I said, she also got hit by trolls. And that's a big portion of why uh, she kind of stopped as well. Another thing I want to talk about really fast, and again, these aren't the only channels that did it. Um, I'm just naming some of the main small YouTubers um, that, you know, used to participate in these things called Friday lineups. And basically, it would be an all-day event where all these YouTubers would go to all these different streamers, donate tons and thousands of dollars uh, at hopes for trying to grow their channel when they could have been made, making, you know, better content or whatever. Um, so these people used to go, go live, have like a lineup of channels. Like after this live stream, we're going to go to this live stream, then this one, then this one. And, um, yeah, I mean, you would gain subscribers, but at the end of the day, you would wake up and a whole bunch would be gone or people wouldn't stay loyal. And now you're just stuck with dead subs. So it was kind of pointless. YouTube now has like kind of cracked down on self or sub. So like if you look up any networking or self or sub streams, they're like, rare to find in like almost non-existent the only person that still does this kind of stuff on a regular basis is a guy named james gype gype and his channel kind of tells the whole story i'm not i'm not really gonna show any too much of his like clips or anything but uh he has like sixty thousand subscribers and barely gets any views again another victim of the sub for sub networking community because you had so much potential, but you kind of just ruined it because you fell for networking. And uh, same thing I kind of did. So just wanted to show you guys that. Never leave real comments on your vids. I am the one who keeps my life in square. My viewers are fake. There are lots of bots in there. This is Drama Queen and Red Jams. Drama Stream, Drama Queen, Drama Stream, Drama Queen, Drama Stream. On YouTube, when content sucks, everyone hails those big numbers. On YouTube, everyone is subbing now, content second to the number subscribed. From that corner, you realize what you're subbing to the numbers you see are a big fat lie. You make your videos about sub or sub? This ain't sub or sub. This is called networking, dumbass. Let's go. Let's grow. I'll, I'm gonna explain the difference, guys, between a sub for sub stream and a networking stream. It has to it has to do with what is happening in the stream, what people are actually doing, not what it's called. If it's called a networking stream and it's 99% everybody is, I got you, hit me back, it is my friend, a sub for sub stream, no matter what that host says. I'm getting pounded, Ray Zams is destroying me. Anybody see anybody by the name of Ray Zams, come in here, get rid of them. Get rid of them. I blocked Rant James. Like, you need to block Rant James. If it says Rant James, Block him, guys. Block him. Because they're quick to silence Rant Jams, but they're not quick to silence these other people. Why? Because they want the sub for sub people in their stream to boost their numbers. That's the truth. Thank you, Rant James. I, I made a mistake, bro. I made a mistake, and I'll say it. I'll say it right here. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have blocked you. Who wants to come in and try to destroy your channel? Who wants to destroy your channel? Just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. But these are people's real lives. These are people's real lives. While some of you are creating drama, people's real lives are getting sick and getting destroyed for your freaking entertainment purposes, for your freaking sub count, and for your freaking shit. Disgusting. It's disgusting. That's well digress. They'll be in the videos. Hey, maybe they'll make them for drama ween. Who knows? Because you all think it's drama. He may have invented a uh, network, it, but he hasn't perfected it because he's garbage. He don't know what a real channel is. He don't know what a real channel is. Let's go. Let's grow. When my channel was doing that, it was a sub for sub live stream. I don't, I don't care how I labeled it. I made a joke out of it. I made satire of it. But that's exactly what it was. Oh, there he is again. Linda, get him. Red Jam still not unbanned. There he is. 
Um, but for the people, my audience slowly transformed, as you know, to where less and less and less of those people showed up because I pissed them off, <laughs> right? More or less, and more and more great creators, people who really wanted to showcase what they actually do started showing up. And that's why when I go live, when people who show up to Rant Jams have the highest quality content of anybody on this platform, period. Sorry. I went to your channel, Rand James, and you're there. Dude, I don't know what's going on with that other person, man. They must be trying to start some trouble. Rand James, we do not promote other channels in here, buddy. I had to take them out of here, guys. I've already heard stories about Rant James. Mods, y'all be on high alert because he keeps coming back. So when he comes in, if it says Rant James, block him, guys. Block him. Sons, he walks in. I need my mods to get him out of here. He keeps coming back and back. He must be making other accounts. Y'all know what to do, guys. If you see a Rant Jams, get him out of here for me. I'm giving you permission to block that channel for me, Rant Jams. He's blocked, guys, but he keeps coming back. Like, I've done blocked him three times and it comes right back. Yeah, and I've already been hearing that he's been talking smack about a couple channels. So, you know what? He's a troll anyway. Like, I blocked him twice and he come right back. There are people out here playing some really sick and twisted games, my friends. Hang on one second, guys. I'm just checking to see if he's on, guys. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video. Um, this was my childhood. You know, during COVID, all these YouTubers I used to watch when I was younger. Um, so they do have an impact on kids. The stuff you have and, and put out there does have an impact on everyone, uh, regardless of age, gender, religion and um uh, that's why today i'm saying this is going to be my last video um i'm not sure what i'm going to do but i've been doing youtube for years and uh i don't think it's worth my time putting energy into this when i could possibly to be doing something else um so yeah just if you're trying to become a youtuber don't do so for sub don't do networking just upload keep your regular job of course and eventually over time you'll do great and don't do it for the money don't go into it being i want to be uh, mr beast or skeppy or cory kenshin or whoever do it because you enjoy it you love to do it and it's because it, what you're doing makes you happy and can potentially make someone else happier